Let's see how things look. Is my voice actually coming through here? Anything? Hello, hello. Okay. Looks like it is. Well, in that case, I'll wait a little bit. Got my coffee. I know there's not going to be a whole lot of viewers at this time of day. But eh, whatever. Ooh, that's a little loud. Save data has been created. <coughs> okay, cool. I guess it's the first time I've ever put this in the Wii U. Okay, cool. This is the first time I've ever put this in the Wii U. Why does Kirby always look so confused when he gets uh, up res? <laughs> It happens in the opening of Smash, too. Also, Dededa being just completely unimpressed with his Pudge is great. Jump to fly, no press up, no copy abilities. But you know what? Great things start out small. <coughs> Look at DK Arcade. Look at where we are today. So, I'll take it. It is the first Kirby, so it's not a completely an accurate assessment. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's okay, nobody's watching right now anyway. Nobody can see me be bad at this. Oh, there we go. That's what I want. That's the good stuff. Who was I talking to this morning? I was like, yeah, well, in the Japanese, the Maxim tomatoes were called magic bags or something like that. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's drugs. I got you. Okay. Why is this such a popular boss? Like, is it just because it's like first boss syndrome? For, like, every goddamn Kirby game in existence. Hey! Fuck! Fuck, Milo can see me be bad. Hey! Fuck! Fuck, Milo can see me be bad. Right. You can't just mash jump. <coughs> uh, how are my levels? How are... How's my sound levels, Milo? even the point of that? Like, there was the microphone thing, and it's like, I know what that does in later games, but what was the point of it right there? Um, echo in the voice, that's interesting. Hmm. I wonder what that's from. This is the, uh, stage that's absent from Spring Green, right? I saw on, uh, Rock's Twitter that those mask enemies are back for the first time since this game. Oh, Kirby just can't inhale underwater. Okay. that does, assuming that's still what that is. Yeah, this is before swimming in Kirby games. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, this is before swimming in Kirby games. Uh, well. So, for those unaware, uh, Spring Breeze in Kirby Superstar is a remake of this, except it's not a full remake because it's missing this level. was a power-up. Same as jump, that I'm messing up all of my goddamn jumps. This is quaint. 
its own way. That wasn't the level that was skipped. Crap, I'm misthinking. <laughs> um, mm, I don't know, I want to say it changes a lot, actually. But, on other levels now. <laughs> Interesting to note that this game relied a lot more on power-ups. So like eating a spicy food, let Kirby run and fire little flame balls out of his mouth for a little while. Or eating the uh, special candy. Oh, and that's that's how that power-up works. See, like Okay, so with the repeated sound, what's happening is, with my setup, oh, okay. so is with um, sound, what's happening you're getting the TV out, but you're also setup. getting the echo from the, uh, you're, you're getting the video out you're through the, TV out, the, uh, the capture card the from the into the, you're, you're the, the computer, out, but you're also getting some echo the, uh, from the, card, uh, the, uh, the television the computer, that is actually outputting sound. Because since the video is lagging, I'm relying on like actual that is actually um, sound. television sound. Here, I'll turn since it down a little bit lagging, I'm relying on, on the, the television. Television sound. Here, I'll turn it down a little bit. <laughs> on the television. Let's see how that goes. I wasn't even aware that this existed until well after it was out. I got this like on a bargain bin thing at a EB Games. Fuck, forgot buttons again. Um. Still got the goddamn new tag on the box because fucking GameStop packaging. Um, but yeah, I just I'd kind of forgotten about. Well, I hadn't forgotten about it, but for some reason I had forgotten that it was a collection and not just like a special like the history of Kirby disc sort of thing. This is the part that's not in Spring Breezes. Because, like, there's challenges that are made- Fuck! Because, like, there's My voice is repeating itself. What? It shouldn't be. I... Why is my voice repeating itself? That's weird. doing anything? <coughs> that is weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, let me know how it is as soon as that change I made kicks in. Okay. 
looks weird. But now I know that needs to be how things are set up. See, this is this is why it was a good idea to, to run through Dreamland 1 first, just to, to iron these kinks out. Kirby gets stuck in somebody's lawn. Okay, spoilers. I don't like Dreamland 1 all that much. The controls are bad. Kirby doesn't move the way he does in later games. God damn it. Why is the repeating still there? That makes no sense. There's only one that makes microphone no plugged in, maybe? Fuck. Hmm. If I covered this up, does that solve the problem? like there's the mic on the game pad but that shouldn't do anything does the Wiimote have a mic on it fuck I don't know that's really weird that's so goddamn weird Okay, we're gonna we're gonna fix this. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna fix this. What's the audio output capture even getting? Like it shouldn't be getting anything. That's the audio output capture is getting my voice somehow. How? How is it getting my voice? The audio output capture is getting my voice somehow. How? How is it getting my voice? What are you even picking up? What are you, even you know what, we're up? just gonna turn that back on and just, um, we're just gonna get rid of this. And just, um, Except no, the desktop audio is getting it too! Where is it going? Except... Was that it? Was that it? Oh my god, was I dumb? Was I just super dumb? Yeah, fuck. Yeah, nope. The stream was playing in the other window. God damn it. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I have a really short stream delay. I don't know why. Yeah! Curb! This is Dreamland 1. It's bad. I'm playing it for... I don't know. To get technical kinks worked out, I guess. Because I'm bad at this. Oh, if I'm already in the air, I can mash jump? What is this bullshit? Fucking game. I mean, yeah. I literally applied to go work at Twitch, which is downtown. Uh, it's about half an hour away. So. That's not the job I got. But I will be working uh, in the same complex. I don't know how I avoided that, but I 
I did. gone now that I'm in, in, like not being an idiot and have actually turned the sound off on the stream preview. I don't even know why the stream preview is playing. Let's just pause the stream preview. Um, I'm guessing no, but I haven't actually checked if it supports Super Game Boy because that'd be great for um, Dreamland 2. for hot swapping. Uh, it doesn't look like it, no. Uh, this is why I was originally going to wait until the, uh, the Super Game Boy arrived. I didn't even know you could hide that. Thank you. Um. Yeah, uh. No, it doesn't look like it's got Super Game Boy support. I. What did I just. I wasn't looking at the screen. I was looking at chat. Whoops. Um. Fighting bosses the classic way. Yeah, there's something to be said for that. Thank you. 
respectfully, the bosses are really fucking dumb in this game. <coughs> well, in, in Kirby 64, there's a scene with your buddy Waddle D getting taken over by Dark Matter and turning into a Waddle Do. Um, and that's like the the that's Bandana Waddle D's unique Waddle D origin. <laughs> or something. <laughs> but like, Waddle Do's have obviously existed prior to that. <laughs> oh, do I have to go fight all the bosses again? Classic boss rush. No! left. There was apparently a coconut there. Hmm? Are the eyeballs? 
animals supposed to indicate a dark matter influence or the, on the clams and stuff dark matter hadn't been invented yet um the guy who who created dark matter wasn't involved until kirby's adventure and even then he wasn't really given free reign to do what he wanted with the kirby game until kirby's dreamland 2 which was sort of like the um it it was the the donkey kong land to yeah yeah um superstar um kirby is not a unique existence there are others of his race around I don't know what's up with it in this game. I doubt much if any lore had been formulated and set down properly at this point in the character's history. Like, remember that this, like, at this point in time, Kirby was a placeholder character they just never got rid of. Um, so, like, it was originally going to be somebody else as the main character of this game, and they just used the, the placeholder blob instead. Fuck. Basically, I'm not even sure if this first game, like, counts at all. <laughs> like, it's there, but, like, nothing had really been set down in stone or properly defined at this point. fight. Wow. than the king is. Oh, that sucks. I'm probably gonna game over here right at the end of the game, and I'm not gonna continue. Yep, okay. That's Master Hand, by the way. Anyway, how do I get back to... Hmm. Uh, 
the game assets call that master hand. Anyway, on to on to the real adventure. Oh my my pedometer is telling me I've been sitting in one place. Oh, and I have an email from Sea of Thieves about the uh, exclusive founders reward. Cool. Anyway, this one was by what's what's the guy's name? Was it Shimamome? Um, so, he was the, a designer on Kirby's Adventure. Coo the owl. Break the hamster. Coo the owl. Kine the fish. no dashing, unless I'm just doing it wrong. <laughs> Not whatever. Oh man, you still have to press up to get Kirby to enter flight mode. That's weird. I see we've introduced slopes and stars. Right, stars weren't in the first game. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this is a pretty standard Kirby UI for a while. This is pretty much how it is in a uh, Superstar as well. Aha, parasol. With stars being Kirby's collectibles. Star bits. bottom of the screen you get an extra life or something. Superstar, Dreamline 3, and Mass Attack. Mass Attack is great. I love Mass Attack. Um... No! Shit. Oh well. I can live with Parasol. So, Dreamline 2. Um... I don't actually know what the plot of Dreamline 2 is. Let's see if the manual tells us. <laughs> um, I know it's... it's... Something. Um. Right kind two. You are a useless manual. Well, it's not completely useless. It tells me the controls for everything. Um. It doesn't appear to tell me the stories for everything. Let's look at the uh anniversary booklet that came with the thing. Kirby, King Dedetta, Meta Knight. Oh right, they reused Meta Knight's um, butterfly samurai concept art for that one boss in Robobot. Yeah, I really like the uniqueness of Mass Attack. I kind of view it as an actual follow-up to Canvas Curse because it does the, the stylus control stuff and way better than Rainbow Curse. Uh, the less we talk about that, the better. Okay, Dreamland 2. Um, are you actually going to give me a plot line? Do to do to do. You're not. God damn. Uh, 
Okay, looks like it's it's time for a brief internet interlude. Kirby's Dreamland to manual. Um, I just want to read what it says in the manual. Um, Story of the Rainbow Islands. Kirby lives in the Rainbow Islands of Dreamland. The rainbows that connect the islands have been stolen by the evil Dark Matter. Oh, it just says it right there in the manual. I thought that was a twist. Dark Matter has taken control of King Dedda and wants to turn Dreamland into a dark world. With the help of three friends, Kirby sets out on his latest quest to save Dreamland. Cool. And we know the- is Kirby breakdancing? Did I look away and Kirby was breakdancing? Okay. You know what one of my favorite power-ups is that I'm also glad is back in Star Allies? Is the, uh, sweeping attack from Dreamland 3. I don't know why I like that so much. Get out of here, Gooey! Oh, nope, it's Rick! Ha <laughs> ha! Yep, rainbow drops for true ending. No, this was, this was, um, not the first, um, Game Boy game I own, because I actually own a cartridge of this, but it, uh, it's one of the first couple, along with, uh, Super Mario Land and Link's Awakening, and no, I spent fucking, oof, that last star drop where you have to go through the successive rooms, eesh. Me and my friend ended up making, like, a flowchart with, like, okay, in this room, grab this power-up and go through this door. Because it's literally just, like, a couple... Not even that many rooms in succession. But they're just full of enemies and some blocks at the end where you have to... Um... Like, do things in sequence. I also can't remember where rainbow drops are, because, uh, while I had played this a lot, I haven't played this a lot recently. <laughs> Man, Rick's the best. Gooey's in this game, and uh, I was just reading up about this. There's there's another Gooey-like character that I always kind of figured was Choo Choo um, from Dreamland 3, but I guess it's not. It's just a female Gooey who replaces a uh, Japanese guest character from a different series. Oh, there's the rainbow drop. And I need a power-up I don't have. Interesting. Uh, but don't forget, it's in level 3. Um, I'm guessing what, spike power up for that? Or maybe parasol? Yeah, with Dreamland 2, Kirby goes kind of from being a, a, just a cute platformer to a bit of an adventure title with ongoing stuff going on and overarching plot 
I don't know. Like, with the, the rainbow drops and the more complex puzzles and stuff that require more than just, like, defeat the enemy. Dreamland 2 just always struck me as a little more... Sophisticated isn't the right word, but there's a little more going on. You know what I mean? Uh, later games, maybe. Not these early games, though. Or Wispy Woods. What the fuck? Now, is he in straight jacket because he's crazy, or is he in straight jacket because dark matter has locked him up? Oh man, Milo's my only viewer. Oh well. Cool. <laughs> that didn't work out. Either that, or he had like a cold or something. I just now noticed that it's actually Rick inhaling, inhaling enemies. Sounds kind of like Zelda music. Yeah, I guess it could have been a cold mask. Ooh, ooh, it's a Sir Kibble. Yeah, there we go. Best cure power up. games that retail, oh, uh, retails Journey in the West. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Um, I don't know who that is, but I need to, uh, find that. Oh, sweet. Bungie turned me down. That means I don't have to go through the trouble of telling them they took so fucking long I got a job elsewhere already. somebody on this team had worked on? Like... More life. Yeah, I know what you're talking about.
For the American version, uh, I'm just gonna say the quote unquote female Dewey is just uh, choo choo to later appear in Dreamland 3. There he is! Yeah! My boy! No, no, no! No, fuck! <sighs> um, you can do... You do get Chow back in DLT, right? Where is she in Dreamland 3? Is she one of the, the stage characters? need that for a rainbow drop. I think I remember I, that I need that for a rainbow drop. Ooh. Note to self, don't get hit. Self, Yu Yuki totally takes place in the same universe. Okay, I missed a rainbow shard, and since I don't plan on doing a whole lot of backtracking here, um, let's look it up. Rainbow drops. Metroid also takes place in the same universe. We knew that. Um, as does I'm I'm convinced that Don't tell Manfrog, because I'm pretty sure he's he's called me dumb for this theory before. But um 
I'm, I'm fairly convinced that Kirby is the collective dream world of all of the other Nintendo franchises because it's, like, the crossovers only happen in the context of Kirby. Like, Kirby is always present for crossovers. So in Link's Awakening, the presence of Kirby was one of the, like, um, foreshadowing that it was all a dream. Um, like, the crossovers always happen in the context of Kirby or in the context of other characters sleeping. Because, like, in Super Mario RPG, there's some cameos, but it's like, Samus is in the inn, asleep, um, sort of thing. So, and then Smash Bros. is just a Kirby spin-off, anyway. So... Ah! Uh, eh! Uh, I... I don't know, what about Mario Kart 8? <laughs> It's right here. Ha, I knew I needed that. Do I do I keep it? Yes, I do. Sweet. I mean, Master Hand is a Kirby character. Master Hand is a metafictional Kirby character that controls the, uh, the light continue stuff for Kirby. cuter than uh wasn't taboo created by uh the final fantasy guy that they got in to help with brawl Hearts were like super plentiful in the first world, but now they're kind of not. Thank you. 
No! You bastards! You super bastards. That was me being careless. Yeah, I think he's like Kulix in that respect, but I I would suggest verifying that with more than just my remembered information. Get out of here. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> oh, my God. seems to have come down with something, and I've got just a little bit of a scratchy throat myself. streaming um near um sometime before you stream for at least a couple hours my friend loaned me a playstation 3 and i tested it out and it works and i can play near on it so Yeah, Sakai, the friend who I was at his place on his stream the other day. Um, he's just got a bunch of spare systems lying around because of uh, all his roommates. And they were kind enough to offer me one. Oh, 
let's see what this says. I know the rainbow drops in this level. It kind of has to be. Um, well, I guess it doesn't have to be. Like, worlds can totally have more than just three levels. Oh, it's those eels. These are also in Dreamland 3, aren't they? Let's see. Go through the first part of area 3, enter the door, pass the eels, jump over the pit with the water in it, and get the stone on the other side. crying! Kirby has basically turned into a rock inside of him, and he's just not having any of it. What do I need to do here? Find the currents in here. You see a niche under the center platform. Fight the current and enter. Oh, there we go. Uh, I don't think this is it. Dark room beneath an arch of five stars. Go on to the right flat. Okay. there if I had light bulb. Cool. There we go. <coughs> cool. Let's get rid of that power up. The, just so like Mario has Yoshi which is kind of weird but it made sense for the setting of the game like Dinosaur Land and stuff it's not too out there right um, especially since you're fighting like evil dragon turtles and stuff right um, and Donkey Kong has a bunch of animal buddies that, like, make sense for the setting as well. Like, they're all sort of, you know, jungle animals and Serengeti and the plains and stuff. You know, rhinos and ostriches and whatnot. And yeah, they get a little more out there in later games, but again, um, not too big of a deal. Kirby has a sunfish, a hamster, and an owl. Uh, by the way, the hamster is as big as the owl and the sunfish. And then he gets... You know what? I'm gonna say it. Pitch is better than Perry the Parallel Bird. Um, and Chu, Chu Chu, an octopus. And Nago, a cat. And it's like, where do you get your animal buddies, Kirby? <laughs> um... <laughs> He's always above us, that's correct. I forgot about this boss. I should have brought a power up. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. This really isn't that hard of a boss. Oh, okay, so, so, favorite, favorite pitch power-up combo. Mine is the, uh, the little remote control. <laughs> Destroyed him. Okay. I will need him back later in a few levels. Holy shit. I guess the ice world is where I start having problems. I forgot, is chili in this game? Cutter pitch is pretty great. Dancing. It's so great. Oh no, 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 I want stone here. There's a very similar area in Dreamland 3. <laughs> yes! to area four that I need kind and a fire power up. Is it still icy inside the boss room? Oh, you better be somebody good. I'll take it. 
don't particularly like this power up, but I'll take it. Magic bag. Have a good lunch, Milo. Motherfucker. Well, I've got fire. Anybody else still watching? <laughs> Lord Boo. Fucker. You know, I haven't really run into any waddle doos in this game. Thank <laughs> you. 
No! Motherfuck. Okay, let's go get kind back. Okay. No, no, no! Motherfucker. Okay. Okay, go past the scrolling area. And enter the door. Jump past the knights and enter the pit to the right of the spikes on the hydras.
Well, that's... Uh... Damn it. That is annoying. Super annoying. Um. Huh. What do I want to do there? Let's see. No, no, crap. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, come on. <sighs> Getting quite familiar with this level. No! Fuck in a bucket. <sighs> this is bullshit. tired of this level. Oh, man. Ooh. Well, it's not like anybody's watching me anyway.
think I'm just being stubborn at this point. Fucking finally, okay. <sighs> now, let's see. Lovely rainbow drops. Red Canyon. <laughs> nice. Um, you know what? I might just stop it there for now. Because... Yeah. Uh, it's been almost two hours. And yeah, nobody's watching anymore. But I will uh, finish this up on stream later. Yeah. Bye.